Hello, I'm Ernie Humphrey, the CEO and founder of 360 Thought Leadership Consulting. I would like to thank you for taking the time to experience my presentation, Treasury Certification Redefined, Fueling Treasury Success in Today's World. My overarching objective today is to give you an overview of the Treasury Certification Program that I have developed. So, our objectives for today, we're going to learn why did I develop a Treasury Certification Program, what are the specific objectives for the Treasury Certification Program I've developed? I'd like to offer you an overview of the Treasury Certification courses and then really give you a good overview of the ROI that you're going to receive for the Treasury Certification. So why do I want to develop a Treasury Certification Program? Well, I have been a Treasury practitioner for eight years and have spent the past 10 years developing and delivering content designed to impact the career success of Treasury professionals. And I think there is a need for a new type of Treasury certification. And also, Treasury needs to offer more strategic value. So the role of Treasury is changing. The skill sets of Treasury has changed dramatically over the past five years and continues to evolve. And I just don't believe that the current certifications really address these changes in the paradigm of what a Treasury professional needs to be successful in today's world. And thirdly, you can't learn Treasury from a book. And last but not least, Treasury professionals need a certification that impacts their career success and empowers them to drive their own professional development. So, so there's two things here. There's giving you the knowledge, the technical knowledge, but in today's world you also need a much broader skill set of knowledge in the soft skills, how to build relationships, how to drive your own career success, how to build consensus, and how to get the resources you need to deliver Treasury success. So what are the specific certification program objectives that I have set out? One, I want you to be able to understand the topics you need to be a successful Treasury professional. So these will be the, the kind of the baseline to be a Treasury professional. You need a certain knowledge set. Two, which I don't think I've ever seen done in a certification program, I want to empower you to identify the skills you have, the skills you need to improve and or develop to be a successful treasury professional. So this allows you to own your own career development. So there are skills associated with not only the topics, but what it takes to deliver strategic value as a treasury professional. I want to empower you to, to know how to access the resources you need to be successful. So whether you need to earn investment in you from your treasury leader, your CFO, or your HR department, or get access to those resources for free. In today's world, it's much easier than you will ever believe to get access to free resources that you need. You can learn just about anything that you want from making the right connections and knowing where to look. The other objective is that we have, I want people to understand how to be a valuable treasury team player. So in order to be a valuable treasury professional, you need to be a team player as well as a leader. You need to know how to follow as well as how to lead. So these are two distinct areas which we will cover in specific courses. I also want to em empower you to build and manage relationships. You need to be a successful treasury professional. So there is no, there is no I in team. The most successful treasury professionals I've ever met in my career, when I ask them why, why they're successful, the first thing they mention is that they had a mentor or they made the right connections with folks even internally or outside of their departments and their companies. So part of the content that I'm going to deliver is going to teach you how to build relationships internally but also externally outside of the walls of your company. And some of those will include relationships with vendors, relationships with colleagues. And so I think this is incredibly powerful. And then finally, and maybe most importantly, I want you to understand how to own your own career success in Treasury. So sometimes people feel as if they're stuck either within their company, within their skill set. I want to teach people how to own their career success um, in Treasury. And that's really the overarching objective here. I want to help Treasury professionals achieve what they want to achieve in terms of their Treasury careers. So let's take a quick look at the overview of the certification resources. And some of these courses are actually two to three hours in length. So you'll notice I try and make my courses have some sort of entertainment value because I want the titles to be compelling. I want people to be engaged. And in all honesty, some of these 
courses have to be standalone products. So people that don't wish to consume the whole certification, uh, all the certification courses, um, they can consume the courses that they want uh, that are components of, this, of the Treasury certification that I've developed. So first, kick things off, the Treasury function, past, present, and future. So I, I like to look at Treasury in terms of the past, uh, things that won't change in Treasury, the present, things that are kind of changing and evolving in terms of Treasury functions and responsibilities, and then the future. What is it that we need to be successful as a Treasury professional uh, in the future out maybe three, five, even ten years? Um, we'll tackle uh, topics that familiar to you as a Treasury professional, accounts payable. We'll talk about how accounts payable has been transformed to a back office function, to a strategic partner. So what does that mean? How do you get done the blocking and tackling? But then how do you help accounts payable become a strategic function? How do you either own that accounts payable function or collaborate effectively with your accounts payable colleagues to make that a strategic function? And then similarly, the same, same objective in terms of accounts receivable, we'll talk about the art of getting paid in today's world, building those relationships with your customers, how Treasury can impact that customer experience. So in today's world, it's more and more important to have positive relationships with our customers. So Treasury, we need to get involved with our customers, not only when there's a crisis on the credit manager comes over and says, hey, I need to get paid. How do we help our colleagues um, in Treasury that work at other companies? How do we make them more efficient and effective? We'll talk about cash management, and we'll talk about owning the cash conversion cycle. So obviously accounts payable and accounts receivable are a component of cash management. We'll also touch on working capital as well. But what, what we're starting to see with technology, which will also be a key focus of the certification, is that it's no longer necessary, and it never really has been, to be in silos between AP and AR. So we need to control cash movements. We need to control the velocity, when they happen, why they happen, how they happen who's affecting those cash payments. So we'll do a deep dive into cash management, and in doing so, we'll also cover working capital. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, a key function of Treasury, which has been around forever, is cash forecasting, so we'll spend some time there. We'll talk about the myths, realities, why it matters, give you some practical advice. And just to note, on all of these topics, as I cover them, I'm not going to be able to give you every single thing that you need. So for every course that I deliver, I am going to offer you resources, additional resources, um, where you might go to dig even into a deeper dive in what I'm offering in my certification. We'll talk about Treasury benchmarks and metrics in, in a course specifically, but I'll also obviously be talking about benchmarks and metrics as we go through each topic. So I'll talk about metrics for AP, AR, working capital, cash forecasting, but I want to break out a specific course just to talk about benchmarks and metrics because I think this is a key area that that people just really don't understand and sometimes people take it too far. Uh, they have too many metrics. They're trying to, they have what I call vanity metrics. So we want to look at metrics that matter and we want to make sure we're looking at the right benchmarks. Not only how are we doing over time, how are we doing versus our competitors, but how are we gaining access to these, to these benchmarks um, that allow us to improve and have a culture of continuous improvement. We'll talk about treasury technology, and this will probably be a two to three hour course. We'll talk about what, uh, what you need and why you need it. We'll also talk about how to right size treasury technology at your company. So this is a key area that I think is missing from any other certification programs that I've seen. Treasury technology is becoming more and more important, not only in that it helps us do our jobs better, Treasury is a perfect person to take more ownership of, of the finance systems in our organization and help other organizations such as HR sales and marketing know how to best leverage the technology. So we are also in a perfect position um, to be uh, the steward of data. So we should we should embrace that opportunity. So I really want to focus on the certification on Treasury technology and how to deliver strategic value from Treasury, not only from leveraging the Treasury technology, but also uh, being a key resource in terms of leveraging technology to impact performance across the enterprise. Um, then we'll talk about managing Treasury services spend. So obviously we'll talk about um, bank accounts, bank fees. We'll talk about payments, uh, sending payments, receiving payments. We'll talk about 
uh, card payments, uh, digital payments. So we'll explore all the ways that we're spending money on uh, services and product providers and consultants that help us deliver the functions that we need. How do we manage that spend? Of course, the first part will be visibility. This will probably be a two to three hour course. And then, and then we're going to specifically break out the bank relationship management and the dynamics of that. So these courses will have a little overlap, but I'm really going to talk about um, how to manage the relationship cycle on your terms. So, so this will be kind of a, more of a case study for how you manage that treasury services spend, but I wanted to break this out because bank relationship management has been critical and it's always going to be um, a critical function in terms of treasury success. And, and, and then we'll touch on um, some risk management topics. So we'll talk about financial risk management, which we're all much more familiar with. We'll talk about enterprise risk management, which goes above that, obviously, kind of encompasses financial risk management and payments and cyber risk management as well. But I want to break those out into specific courses. And then we'll, we'll, we'll do some, we'll do a course on financial planning and analysis. And this will probably be a three to five hour course. So Treasury is becoming more and more involved um, in FP&A. So we'll tackle the FP&A topic, which will also include, obviously, core performance management, business intelligence, and so how Treasury can either lead or be a valuable strategic partner to the FP&A function at their companies. Um, and, then, and, then we'll, and then we'll focus a lot more on the skill set that I think is really critical for Treasury professionals, and that is uh, being a leader, how to be a leader, how to impact performance across the enterprise in today's world. So we'll talk about the art of leading across the enterprise. So how do you build relationships with company leaders across the enterprise? How do we offer value to sales, marketing, and operations? How do we build those relationships? How do we teach them the language of treasury? And how do we learn the language um, of our, of our uh, fellow company leaders? Uh, we'll also spend some time on how to cultivate a high-performing treasury team. So we'll talk about how to make your team run on all cylinders. How do, you, how do you create the right dynamics within your team? How do you recruit? How do you retain that talent? So as a treasury leader, this is huge, huge. You're only as strong as your weakest link. So how do you build that treasury team so treasury can take on all the challenges that continue to come their way, which is awesome, and continue to earn our seat at the strategic table? And then we'll talk about how to build and manage relationships that matter. So we'll talk about how to build those internal relationships at your company, up and down the corporate ladder. We'll talk about how to build relationships with your treasury services providers, and maybe most importantly, how to build relationships with your peers in the treasury space. So how do you network? How do you build relationships with treasury peers? Because at the end of the day, when you have a big project to do, you have a challenge, the best resource you can have is a fellow treasury practitioner who's faced the exact same challenges that you face. You want to look for someone who's in the same industry that you're in, the same company size that you're in, uses the same ERP system that, that, you're, that you use, maybe uses a, the same treasury management system that you use. That is critical to treasury success. A treasury, we usually have one or two projects that are that are game changes for our career we need to make sure we ha we have the resources available to take advantage of those opportunities and then we'll talk about building and managing your treasury skill set so again i've never seen a certification address this so how how do you pr how do you go through that process these are the skills that i need these are the skills that i have how do i fill those gaps do i need my company to invest in me do i need to acquire those resources on my own how do I fill those gaps and get the ROI for those? And then finally, uh, this is what also makes the certification a little bit cutting edge. I want to cover how treasury professionals can leverage social media to impact career success. So social media has some value. Obviously, there's risk to it. But the, the key tool that I found in my career is LinkedIn has been a fantastic tool for me to build relationships, not only outside my organization but within my organization and also helps you mitigate that unemployment career management. So as you can see, um, this is really a game changer in terms of treasury certification. So I, I'm honored to be able to offer the certification course and, and, I all, and as such I want to also talk about the ROI.
So this is this is the ROI. So this is the promise um, that I make to you, personal promise in terms of the sort of the ROI you will receive if you complete my Treasury certification course. And I take per, again, I take personal ownership for that. You'll be able to benchmark where you are, where you want to be, and what it takes to get you there in terms of your Treasury career. You'll be able to develop the skills you need to deliver more value. You'll develop the skills to build and manage relationships that matter. You will become a better team player. You'll become a better leader. You will develop the skills to own your career success. And you will also have the career support from me. I Treasury is a small world. And I am connected with several thousand people in the Treasury space. So I don't know if, you, if anyone watches Kevin Bacon, play the Kevin Bacon game. Kevin Bacon can be connected to someone within five degrees of separation. I think I can do that within two to three. So, and I'm here for you. So I take ownership of my certification. I can help you get connected with the people that you need and also connect you with free resources that, that, my, that my strategic partners offer in terms of, of webinars and, and other resources that you, can, that you can access for free. So one of the things you should, you should ask yourself if you're investing in anything for your professional development in terms of it's more than content. It's your instructor. Why is this instructor? So, so why should I invest in this certification program? Why should I invest in Ernie Humphrey? Well, there's, here's a few components of my value proposition, and I encourage you to call me if you really want more uh, on my background, what I offer, why I'm different, uh, why it is that I have a commitment to serve the Treasury profession. And so I want you to make an educated decision to consume this course. And I also have a personal commitment to make sure that you get the ROI that you deserve out of the course. So I'm a longtime Treasury practitioner. I was a Treasury practitioner at a publicly traded company for six, six, six years, six, seven years, probably closer to seven years. I've been a certified Treasury professional for over 10 years. I was on the, I'm on the committee that just updated the content for the CTP certification exam. I love the CTP certification. I had the CTP certification. I helped write the CTP certification exam book. However, I think there is room for another treasury certification in the market that is more practical and has a focus on technology, has more of a focus on career success rather than just on the content itself. I am a renowned thought leader in treasury. Um, I think that will speak for itself. If you look at my LinkedIn profile, I have I have executed and moderated over 400 webinars designed to impact the career success of Treasury professionals. I've been speaking at Treasury events for the past 10 years, and so I'm a sought-after public speaker. And and all and finally, which is most importantly, which I think you should look for um, in an instructor if you invest in a certification, is their commitment to serve the Treasury profession. I'm a treasury professional. Boom. I'm a treasury geek at heart. I love treasury. You can tell this by listening to the webinar. I have passion. I have energy. So I do this because I really want to help treasury professionals achieve success. And that's about it. I have other businesses that I run. I don't have to do a certification course, but I want to give back to my profession and I want to help. I just want to help the profession and learn from all the things um, that I've been through. So um, with that, I am happy to take any questions that you have. Feel free to reach out to me um, via LinkedIn and my email address as well. Again, I thank you very much for your time today and make the rest of your day great. Thank you very much.